Yolanda learned about Romans, who went about conquering folk, invading and raping and pillage, then killing old men for a joke. Well, one day, Caesar was studying Atlas. He stood there, his hands on his hips. He said he were fed up with red wine and pizza, and he fancied some Vinto and chips. <laughs> we have Vinto in the fridge, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get the chips next door. <laughs> so his legions advanced towards England and landed on shores close to Rill. They marched up the A6 to Stockport and stopped for a pint at Rose Hill. <laughs> This seems like a good place to conquer, said the officer. Best that we've found. Then following his lads into the railway, he ordered chip butties all round. The landlord at pub, he were beaming. It were best trade he'd had for a week. 10,000 Romans all wanting a drink and 5,000 wanting a leak. <laughs> but the folk of Rose Hill were right grumpy. What with so many Romans around, they moaned because the bus queues were seven miles long and crisps had gone up to a pound. The news soon spread up the village that Romans had come for a fight. But the good folk of Marple weren't worried because the village had shut for the night. <laughs> the Romans assembled next morning, presenting a fearsome fight, fearsome sight. But they'd all had a skin full of robbies, so they weren't feeling much like a fight. They marched up the road towards Marple, passing Bowler and Jolly en route, while the villagers booed and chucked insults, not to mention half bricks and bad fruit. The Romans advanced through the village and stopped at the navvy by cut. Hail Caesar, the officer bellowed. Sod off, said the landlord, we're shut. <laughs> the officer got quite aggravated at not being served at the inn, so he gathered his soldiers around him and said, Right, old lads, let fighting begin. The captain at Romans were Brutus, and Albert were in charge of us. Now Brutus, he came in a chariot, and Albert, he came on a bus. <laughs> So battle kicked off Monday morning, a bit of a one-sided do, because the Romans had 10,000 archers and Marple could muster just two. <laughs> now both of our archers were bakers, but that day they shut up the shop and they said, if young Romans are coming, we'll have to get bread from co-op. <laughs> the fighting raged all over the village, through High Lane and onto the ridge, with cavalry charges through Compstall and punch-ups around Posset Bridge. <coughs> We'll only be warring five days a week, said Marple shop steward, Alf Platt. Five days a week, and if there wants any more, it's time and a half after that. <laughs> so battle were halted come Friday, and everyone stopped for a brew. There were racing and snooker and darts on the telly, so our lads took the weekend off too. When fighting restarted on Monday, both sides faced each other in mud. It hadn't stopped raining since Friday, and forecasts weren't looking too good. The Romans had set up a rest camp. We are so selling pizza and cakes, and a pond so the soldiers could paddle at a place they called Roman Lakes. The fighting went on for a fortnight. We were raping and pillage on side, and most of it done by our lads, plus a couple of fellas from Ives. <laughs> <laughs> but the weather weren't kind to the Romans. The rain turned to ice as it fell. It rusted their swords and their armour, and shrunk all their togas as well. It weren't much fun being a Roman, with your toga all soggy and wet, with rain coming down like big stair rods. And well, he's not invented just yet. The captain in charge of the Romans, seeing things were not going quite right, called a meeting with the leader of our lads, which would held at the Atters that night. Let's call it a draw, said the captain, who was missing all sunshine in Rome. Let's call it a draw, and on Friday uh, the lads can all bugger off home. I'll settle to that, said our leader. Our lads don't like fighting in rain. Besides, that reminds me, next Friday it's Wakes Week and we're all off to Spain. So the Romans packed up their equipment, their weapons and all other stuff. They'd been and they'd seen, but not conquered, so they marched off to Roman off. There's not a lot left of invasion, no statues or castles on ridge. Now to talk to remind of the Romans, just the legion, the lakes and the bridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs>